Congratulations. Can we give them a big round of applause? You made it. You did it. You're here. You did it. And we're glad you came. We're glad you're here. Yeah. Welcome to Cooking with Two Chefs. I'm a chef, <laughs> she's a chef. You can become a chef. Of your own home kitchen. <laughs> my name is Ryan and this is my lovely wife, Mara. We are so glad you guys are here. You guys are gonna learn so much and most importantly, you're gonna have fun. We're just gonna have fun. Because little secret, we don't take ourselves too seriously in the kitchen. Yeah. The way we actually got our name is we were trying to get custom license plates in Los Angeles and they were totally out of whatever we wanted at the time. Remember. I don't even remember what it was, but the only thing we could find was two chefs that was available. It was that, pretty fitting. Yeah. And then it just became the name of our business. Wow. <laughs> So what is this channel? This channel is a safe space for oh, you mm. to learn how to make some super awesome recipes using basic cooking methods, good quality ingredients. We want to take our food into your kitchen yes, so please. that you can try our recipes that all of our clients get to have. We just want people to start feeling like good and easy about getting in the kitchen and cooking. So we created this channel so you guys could recreate our recipes in your own kitchen. You guys can share the time with your families, with friends, and you can all experience how easy it is to make good, healthy food. So a lot of people have been like, who the heck are these two chefs? We keep seeing two chefs. Yeah. Who are you? Well, what are you? we're gonna tell you. Who am I? Me? My first name is Jeremiah Ryan Wollen. I go by Ryan, I always have. I grew up in a restaurant. Believe it or not, a lot of people go to culinary school, like my wife, I didn't. I've worked on a food truck, I worked at a ski resort, I went to Costa Rica once, I got a chance to work in some crazy Costa Rican kitchens. Man, I've been all over the place. I really love the culinary world because you have the opportunity to go wherever you want. And I love kind of the craziness of being a chef. I'm also a musician, I play the drums. One of the craziest things about my life is how well cooking and music have worked together. I've been able to cook, earn a living, and still be able to play music at night, and it's really cool. Wait. I really wanna know. You? <laughs> I am Chef Mara, number two. Fun things about me. I love nature, I love being outside, I love going to the beach, camping, mountains, Everything. I don't like it when it comes into my house. You be there, I'll be here, we'll live in harmony. <laughs> I worked in a record store all through high school and culinary school. I love music from all over the world. I love punk rock, I love classic rock, it's all good. My favorite show in the whole world is The Office. My great grandparents owned a restaurant and my cousins owned a restaurant, my aunt and uncle owned a restaurant. So I think it's safe to say that it's in my blood and in my DNA. <laughs> I decided to go to culinary school straight from high school. My mom and my sister were like, hey, you watch a ton of cooking shows all day long. So I was like, sure, let's give it a go. That sounds great. So I went through culinary school. I worked in restaurants. I did catering. I then went on to actually go back and teach and work at the culinary school that I attended, which was really cool. Did some more restaurants. <laughs> And basically, I just got to a point where I was getting really burnt out. So I got really burnt out, and one of my clients said, hey, you'd be a really good nanny. You wanna give it a try? <laughs> and I thought it was crazy at first, but after I thought about it, I was like, let's do it. Why not? I got placed with the best families, and I fell in love with this work. I love being able to work in a family dynamic and in this like intimate setting that I got to meet people and really like learn about them and be kind of an integral part of a family. I just love that I could teach all the kids about how to cook, how to eat healthy. I could provide things for the family that really helped them out a lot. And just, it felt good to be a part of the team. When I was with my last family in LA, I had the opportunity to go through a nutrition school at the, si at the same time. And it was exactly what I needed to kind of connect all the dots from the soil to the stomach, I like to say. Sourcing, quality of products, how things affect the body, 
how to actually help people that have health issues, how you can actually feed them nutritious food that's actually healing and not causing more issues. It was really, really life-changing. When I was wrapping up with that family, I had a bunch of other moms, friends of friends of moms, all these people, that had been asking me, hey, we heard, <laughs> we heard that you were a chef. Would you think about possibly doing some meal prep for us? And I was like, sure, why not? Why not make some good healthy food for them too? I started with one and then it blew up. <laughs> it just spread like wildfire. Let me just tell you something. Moms are the best word of mouth people on the planet. <laughs> when they know a good thing, they will tell everyone. <laughs> Once I had a full week load of clients and there was more waiting for a spot to open up, I was like, ah, what do I do? And so enter in Ryan. <laughs> I was like, Ryan, this is going awesome. You have to- It was, it was going really awesome. You have awesome. to leave your catering job. Uh, we were able to like help double the amount of families and Ryan brought in all of his expertise and all of the experience that he's had in all different types of restaurants and different flavors he's used and different techniques. Our powers combined make the best optimal meals for all these families. We yeah. really were able to help a lot more people and it's just been a great success. It's been since. awesome. We love it. So now that we've let you guys in on a little bit more about us, we want to make sure you guys know where you can find us. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook at twochefs.food. So thanks for watching. If you watched it all the way through, we were really excited when people were like, hey, we want to know who you guys are. Can you make an, a video introducing who you are and like what your background is? So we really appreciate that. And it means a lot that you guys actually care that much. It and does. like want to know about us and i want to know you guys i want to see what you guys are making i always love the feedback and i always like it when people ask us questions or give us comments it's really fun yeah, it to interact really fun. and like get to know what you got who you are what your needs are and um how we can help so thanks for dropping by check out the videos below make sure you guys subscribe and if you hit that little bell button down below one of these spots <laughs> It'll uh, notify you every time we post a new video so that you're always up to date with what the latest, greatest recipe is that we're posting. So thanks for watching and yeah. I hope we answered some of your questions of who we are. Who are you? See you guys. <laughs> now you really know. <laughs>